Hello the family in Christ. Shall we open in prayer? Father God, we just thank you for a brand new day. Thank you that we are part of your family and that we belong to you. And as we go into your word now, I pray that, Holy Spirit, you would just fill us with wisdom and with knowledge to understand what you are trying to teach us today. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hi everyone. Today is the um, uh, last part of the series Taking Hold and um, as we read in Ephesians 6 about the uh, armor of God, uh, the last part that we really need to look at is, is prayer and uh, it is a vital part of the uh, armor of God. We must never forget that. Uh, let's just read that Ephesians 6 verse 18. Pray all the time. Ask God for anything in line with the Holy Spirit's wishes. Plead with Him, reminding Him of your needs, and keep praying earnestly for all Christians everywhere. Thanks, God. There's there's something that we need to just bear in mind all the time. That's regarding any prayer that 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 uh, that we present to the Lord, and that is we need to ask God for anything in line with the Holy Spirit's wishes. In other words, with God's will. What We need to pray according to God's will. And uh, the Word of God clearly tells us and explains to us what God's will is. We, we, we know that. And um, if, we, if we need food, well, then we pray for food and, 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 and God will provide for us. That's the important part here. Um, but when we pray, for example, for food, we can't uh, uh, ask God, listen, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not interested in, in uh, hamburgers and hot dogs. I, I would like caviar and, uh, and uh, whatever else um, that is really, really, very, very tasty. Uh, pink salmon and, and that kind of thing. I, I don't want to settle for anything less. Then I, I think that we can actually just forget about it and uh, perhaps <laughs> we, we might go hungry. God wants to provide us with our, our needs, our basic needs, but we need to we need to pray in line with the Holy Spirit's uh, uh, wishes, and that's what Scripture teaches us. the The Word of God has been very clear throughout the Bible family on the importance of prayer, and uh, you know Jesus also gives us so much information about prayer, and He consistently set amazing examples, and He uses His own lifestyle to demonstrate, you know, what He preached. We remember the other day we were talking about uh, we walk in the talk. That's exactly what Jesus did. He did. He walked the talk. Uh, walked the talk. Excuse me. He helps us to realize three uh, prayerful points. Now I think that we that we can just have a look at. The first one is that Jesus prayed for all of his followers, which includes us. Let's read some scripture. Matthew 19, verse 13 and 14. Then people brought little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and to pray for them. But the disciples rebuked him. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. In John 17 verse 9, I pray for them. I am not praying for the world but for those you have given me, for they are yours. So we, we, we understand from this that, that Jesus is praying for us, his followers. All of, all of us that, as Christians that, that um, believe in him and believe in God, that's, we, we've been prayed for and, and, and that is so comforting and, and, and especially in times like these that we've experienced. Yes, I know that we a lot of us have gone back to work, um, and uh, as of yesterday, and and uh, things are, are sort of getting back to a, a normality, but not really as we as we knew it. There's still a long way for us to go, but the thing is, we can still uh, rest in in the fact and, and the hope that you know what Jesus, he's he's presenting everything that we that we present. He presents it to the Lord, or to the Father. On, on, on our behalf and, he, and he's praying for each one of us each one of us all of us that believe in him that have been 
that, that are part of the kingdom. Secondly, uh, Jesus had both a divine and, uh, and a human nature. So he demonstrated in his human nature that it was perfectly natural for, for a Jewish believer to pray. Um, and here we're going to read some more scripture. Luke 9, 28 to 30. About eight days after Jesus said this, he took Peter, John, and James with him and went up into a mountain to pray. As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became as bright as a flash of lightning. Two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious splendor, talking with Jesus. Thank you. So, so now, what, what is Jesus doing? He's taking his, some of his disciples up with him, uh, up the mountain, and so he's teaching them, it's okay, guys, it's okay. We can all pray. We can pray to the Father. And, and man, it must have been so amazing to, for, for, for people to have been witness to the way that, that uh, 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 Jesus' appearance changed. And, and he, he became as bright as, as, as it says here, as a flash of lightning. But the wonder here is that uh, the first part is that Jesus is saying it, it's for all of us. And that includes the Jewish our Jewish brothers and sisters. It's okay for them to pray as well. And then thirdly, he verifies that, that the nature of the Trinity, it, it allows for, for uh, uh, communication between God the Father, God the Son, and um, of course the Holy Spirit. And, and, and we can do it either uh, in solitude or we can do it with other believers. Let's read. Acts 1 verse 14. They all join together constantly in prayer, along with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Oh, you see, now Jesus knew the value of praying with others. And in, in Acts 1 verse 14, which Gail just read, uh, she, it, it emph Jesus emphasizes the importance of, of Christians uh, praying with uh, one another. And if we go to Luke 5 verse 16, but Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. So Jesus is saying we pray together and we can pray in solitude. We mentioned that a while back as well. And we also uh, listened to something from uh, Pastor Lindine about uh, finding that quiet place. And uh, Jesus often sought a quiet place and we do as well. Sometimes it gets too hectic and we just need to find a quiet place just to have some solitude as well now family uh, we know we understand the importance of prayer and I mean there's so much that we can go into regarding prayer but um, uh, it's enough for 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 this series uh, there's there's lots more that we're going to uh, check out and investigate later but I, I guess maybe you you asking this question so so how do we use prayer with God's armor because that's that's what the the focus is on it's on God's armor and then the question is, the prayer, how do we use the prayer with God's armor? Well, let's, let's start with the first part. In order to wear the belt of truth, we have to consistently, we have to ask God for his wisdom and his discernment to ensure that we correctly share and apply the word of God with others. Doesn't that make sense? We need, we need God's, we need to know what the Holy Spirit's wishes are, what God's will is. And... And then we, we, have a, we, we use prayer to help us to understand how the belt of truth works and how it applies to our lives. Then if we look at the breastplate of righteousness, um, when we pray, it reminds us that we need to set our eyes on Jesus at all times. And then constant prayer will help us to remain focused on Jesus. That's the breastplate of, breastplate of righteousness. We need to focus on, on Jesus' words, on God's word. So that we don't we don't veer off and 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 make mistakes and and then uh, and lose it if you understand what I'm saying. Then if we look for at the uh, uh, shoes uh, to spread the gospel of God's uh, peace, prayer is needed there to help us not to give up on the journey of of um, uh, evangelism. We must continue spreading the good news of Jesus. In the shield of faith, it requires prayer to help us, uh, you know, withstand the battles we find ourselves in. And there's going to be many times that we'll need to rely 
solely on, on faith in God to get through the trials. We won't see it, but we, but we need to just have that faith. And this is his protection that, that we should always pray for. Then we, if we have a look at the helmet of salvation, it requires prayer as well, so that our thoughts remain on God and his word, not on the world's wisdom. You know, sometimes we really get carried away with, with the things of the world, and, and we, lose that, uh, we lose sight of, of, um, of Jesus, uh, because we're influenced by the world's wisdom. And then, of course, the sword of the Spirit, uh, and that is the word of God. It needs prayer as we go into battle. What we say and what we do must be based on God's will. And that's why prayer is important. It's to pray before, it's to pray during, it's to pray after. And that is, it's just, it's, it's beautiful, it's wonderful that we can do this. Because that's what Jesus says we must do. He said we must use prayer. And uh, we've got the helper, the Holy Spirit, that will help us through everything that, uh, in, in regards to all, all the things that we, that we face. Uh, um, family, that's it for this particular series. And, and we pray that you have either been reminded of things long forgotten or, or uh, maybe uh, through the grace of God you've learned something new. And, and God needs you, brother and sister, he needs you to share his truth and wisdom with others. And he provides you with his armor in, in order to, um, to achieve this, to, to, to accomplish this. And, and just know this, you'll always be loved and protected by, by Jesus Christ. So God bless you and, and stay with you and... And, and protect you and keep you safe and, and don't forget, do what you need to for, for Jesus and keep focused. Keep your focus on Jesus. God bless you. God bless you, family.